Hello YouTube, my name is Paul, I hope you're all keeping well. I'm back today then with another Spotlight video. And today the Spotlight shines on an Atari ST game. The game's called Blood Money, it was published by Psygnosis in 1989 and developed by DMA Design Games. And it's a spiritual successor to Menace, which was DMA's first outing under the Psygnosis label. So there's the box and the box art. Interestingly the box art was used for something before Psygnosis got their hands on it for this game. Some lovely screenshots there. It's a horizontal scrolling shoot 'em up with absolutely gorgeous graphics. I'm not sure if they're ST shots or Amiga shots to be honest with you. They look more like Amiga shots than ST shots. Um, inside the box then you've got, obviously inside the sleeve you've got a box with the usual owl face on it. Obviously that bit does come out if you want to flip it out and turn it around to protect the owl's face because it's got a couple of scuffs on there. Not sure if you can see them. Inside the box you've got a manual, a fair size manual. And most of the detail in this pertains to the Amiga version and not the Atari ST version. Lots of stats about how the game was programmed, but not on the Atari ST. And you get two discs, like so. It's not much disc swapping in the game, which is always a bonus. The game was originally developed by David Jones at DMA, but it was ported over by Wayne Smithson for the Atari ST. I'm pretty sure the music composer is completely different as well because the tune in this game is completely different to the Amiga version. It's quite strange though isn't it, it's about time the Amiga actually had games ported across to the ST then vice versa. But the game itself is not a bad port over, it's quite, it's quite slow in comparison to the Amiga version which in my eyes makes it a little bit easier. The game isn't particularly rare, I think there's about 40,000 copies sold back in the day does command a decent price on the Amiga, but you can get it for a fairly cheap price in comparison on the Atari ST, probably costing about 14, 15 quid from what I've seen on eBay. So not particularly hard to get. Um, but yeah, the artwork then, so it was drawn by Peter Andrew Jones, or painted by Peter Andrew Jones, and used in a book called Protector, which was published in 1973. So that was quite an interesting fact in itself. So like I said, not a particularly hard game to get hold of, but really good, but really hard at the same time. So let's go and play it, shall we? See you in the game. So welcome First, to Blood Money there was men. on the Atari ST. Psygnosis presents a DMA design game. Well, that saves me talking. My old mate used to have this game years ago on his Atari ST, and I was quite uh, overwhelmed by how good it looked. Right, select player one. Menu is quite straightforward. Two player game. Impatient just means you turn off all this uh, fancy menu stuff. Right, you can select two planets to begin with. You can't select the bottom two there until you complete one of these. So supposedly, this is the easier one. Let's crack on. This game is by no means easy. If you've ever seen the Amiga version before, it plays identical, um, but this version, as you'd expect, has fewer colours on screen. It looks slightly washed out in comparison, but plays very, very smoothly, and it's fantastic to see that on the ST. Now, back in the day, I could actually complete the first two levels, but nowadays I've got hope in hell. Now if you touch the sides, you lose energy. Plenty of obstacles get in your way as you try and progress. Didn't quite make that one. But yeah, it plays really smoothly, it's really nice. And like I said earlier, it is slower than the Amiga version, which makes it a little bit easier, in my opinion. Right, first shop, let's get ourselves some weapons. Spend some of that blood money. It's 
not a huge choice of weapons, to be honest. That should keep us in the game for now. What's that little shit out there? Take your money away. Oh, another one. Oh, no! Most, uh, most of the things you kill will give you money, except for those things attached to the sides of the levels. Right, let's try and get some money! It's a very atmospheric game. I do think the graphics are fantastic on the Atari ST. And like I said, for 1989 it was pretty spectacular really. Watch out for that goon. So literally do take your money away from you. Now some of the shops are quite awkward to get into, like this one. And I haven't got enough money, so that's a waste of flipping time. Now considering the Amiga's got all that lovely hardware uh, to help shift sprites around the screen and give you all those lovely layers of parallax scrolling, this don't do too bad at all. But it definitely is slower than the Amiga version. Some of the object, objects on the screen you can interact with, like those like wheels there. Which when you shoot them they just change. I've not played the ST one for quite a long time actually. I'm not doing too bad. I don't say so myself. Whoa! It's funny you forget things. Yeah, quite a lot does happen on screen at the same time. Sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. I'm not complaining because the pace of the game keeps up either way so that is quite impressive. I can't remember what that does. Oh, I think it makes your missiles go f uh, further. Let's have some of that then shall we? I think that's speed or thrust vertically and horizontally. That's some kind of bomb which I think you can get more than one bomb. So now I'm looking pretty uh, well equipped. can buy yourself extra lives, but you'll bloody need them later. Oh crap, all that bloody wasted money. Come on, I can do it! Come on, yes! Yeah, you can see the long, long range rockets now, which is very, very helpful. But I said so much happens on screen, you, you can't get half the money you, you're trying to... Well, you can't get half the stuff you're trying to pick up. Each level is quite big to be honest, it's four levels, they're all very large. Oops, nearly dead. Crap. I don't think he can pick up any health though. Which is a shame. certainly do waste a lot of money in this game. Apparently the um, programmer, the original programmer David Jones got a lot of inspiration from Mr. Helly. 
apart from the fact you're flying a helicopter, I can't really see what else resembles Mr. Heli. But that was quite a cutesy little shoot up, wasn't it? Maybe the fact it is a shooter, and it's got a helicopter in it. But to be honest, I've never really played Mr. Heli, so I'm not sure if it's got a similar reward system, like picking up money and all. There's a few tricky bits like that, which are a pain in the arse. No! Crap, that's close. That bomb thing that comes out the top of my helicopter, if that would have caught one of those uh, cog things there, those wheels, I'd have been hit. And died. What a great atmosphere in the game though, the music's really good. Really good. So far so good. About as far as I can get on the Amiga version. <clears throat> I'll keep my money for now, because I'm going to die at some point in the very near future. Apparently the original game was developed on a 386 PC as well. I guess David Jones used that for the uh, Amiga version. Can't imagine it being too different to produce the SD version, to be honest. Holy shit. Whoa, he's dead to me! Well, oh, that's me dead. This weaponary system is no good here. Christ, look at that. One flipping missile at a time. Oh, boy, you can make it. You can make it. Whoa. Trying to get, get a sneaky ten, ten dollars there. Come on! Bloody hard. If I survive this... Oh, Jesus, come on! Need a shop as soon as possible. The bullets are quite difficult to see sometimes. Which can be a pain in the bum. Graphics are gorgeous though, but where you see the difference in colour between the Amiga and ST are in things like those uh, bubbles. Oh, what a waste of money. Shop in there? Nope. Right. This game requires a hell of a lot of concentration. Back to full strength. Almost. The further you go into the game, the harder it is to collect all the coins. 
you get puzzly bits like this then, which are flipping hard. Get out of it. Come on. Yeah, the chap didn't do a bad conversion at all on the ST. Not bad at all. Help. Yeah, it's a shame I can't get all these bloody coins. Oh, for God's sake. Promise if I die now, I've got no flipping money. my French, that was a bit rough. Yes. I don't think I've been this far in about 25 years, so I've got no idea what I'm doing at the minute. those little muggers and mug someone else. Bloody hell! Go on, get the coin square! Ah, oh, lucky. Shit. Oh, I feel a bit better now. I've got some more money. Come on, money just... Oh, really? Like I said, the le levels are rather large. So I've, not, I've got no idea where the end of level boss is. In fact, it is what it even looks like. How the hell did I survive that? Come on, Paul, you can do it. Four hundred and twenty bucks. Serious concentration face. Ah, oh, shit. Don't ask me how I'm doing this. I really don't know. Pure luck. Oh, just leave him alone. Oi! Oh, 
that wasted cash. Sure where to go. Haha, <laughs> bet I'm in the wrong place, and I Ah Crap. Oh maybe not. Have a flipping giraffe, and you? Ah, oh, really? A flipping odd. Oh, I'll be all bloody day doing this. I need a shop, need a shop, where are you, shop? I've got a feeling this might be the end of level with one flipping bullet. Yep, what the flipping am I supposed to do with that? Whoa, dude! Shoot me in the arse. Oh crap. I'm not really sure where to shoot him. Come this bloody arse, Charlie. Come on. Ah, oh, right, okay. Little bar steward. Right. If I die here, I'll be a bit gutted. But I've got a feeling I'm going to. This bullet is bloody crap. No! Oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame. Now, if I had all my weapons there, that thing would have been fried toast. Well, that's blood money. Flipping hard as ever. If you want something even harder, try the Commodore Amiga version. See you for the summer air. Well, in summary then, Blood Money on the ST is definitely easier than the, its Amiga counterpart. Um, there are some objects missing from the Amiga version in the ST version, like the radio frequency towers. And so when you approach them, your controls are reversed, which makes the game even flipping harder, to be honest. My mate bought Blood Money back in the day. I bought a copy of Xenon 2 around the same sort of time. So we tended to do that because A, it saved us a bit of money because we're both still in school. And we just lend each other the games. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we've got kind of two games for the price of one, really. So Blood Money is very good, very challenging. Um, 
and can command quite a decent price these days on eBay. So if you if you are an Amiga collector, it will cost you probably twice as much as it would to get it on the Atari ST. But the ST version isn't half the game, so certainly worth picking up for the ST. Um, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.